Hi, welcome to this SQL tutorial video and today we're going to try and solve a problem where you need to return the latest record for a given condition. So in the example I'm going to show you, I've got a, a, a list of orders and I want to get only the most recent order for each of my customers. So on screen I've got 31,000 rows, but actually what I want to do is just get the most recent order details for this customer and this customer and this customer ignoring any previous orders and to do that we're going to use a nested select um, to achieve this information so somehow what we need to do is say get me all the information for this sales order id and this sales order id and this sales order id and that's kind of how we're going to achieve this but first of all we need to build a list of only these sales order IDs. So um, I have done uh, videos on nested selects previously and I will put some uh, links to them in the uh, description of this one but let me begin by um, starting a, a new query. So let us just go here and do selects start from sales dot sales order header and like I said, I'm interested in getting the latest per the latest order per customer ID. So I'll just give this a little alias here and we'll say get me the customer ID and the max sales order ID. Okay, and if I group by my customer ID, we should get a list of customers and the latest sales order id and that's this is the list that we want to get okay so if we just look back here um five seven four one eight seven two seven seven three if we just go back here what we that's what we're interested in five seven four one eight seven two seven seven three five three two seven three two three seven so this is exactly the list that we want to use this is perfect so our select is now returning um rows and columns you can see two columns and almost 20,000 rows rows and columns are you know the, the features of a table so our select is kind of returning us a, a, a table of data and because of that we can actually uh, interrogate that data so let me um, begin by first of all I'm going to wrap the whole thing in brackets um, if I run that, it, it doesn't change anything. We get the same amount of data back. But by putting it in brackets here, it means I can do select star from. And now uh, my select star from will interrogate the results of this inner nested select. Okay. The, there's a couple of rules to this. You need to give this um, an alias. So I'm going to call it NS for nested select. And each of the columns has got to have uh, a column description. So if we look at the results of my um, inner select, my acid select, the first column is called customer ID. The second column doesn't have a column name. So I'm going to give it an alias of max ID. So now if I run this inner select, we've got customer ID and max ID. And now you can see um, where NS had a, um, an error underline. That's disappeared now. So I should be able to do run the whole thing. Select star from the results of this nested select. That's nice. That's perfect. That's exactly kind of where we need to start. Now I've got my customer ID and my max ID. I can now um, add more tables to this. So I can say, um, nice and easy, I can say... Um, in a join sales dot sales order id or sales order header rather um, and i can join it on the sales order id or in this case the max id so um i'm going to call this soh for sales order header and i'm going to it's exactly the same as any other table join so i'm going to join this table on sales order id equals and the column that I'm joining it on is this column which is max ID and the alias is NS so NS dot max ID and if I run that we should now get a lot of data and now if I 
um, go back to my previous example here and grab that. Now I'm going to get errors when I try and paste this in. Um, although I've got this SH as an alias here, that SH only kind of belongs within this nested area here. So SH is not recognized um, in this bit here. It doesn't exist. So what I need to do is, is change these aliases to be um, pointing to, to an accepted alias, which is either this or this. So what I'll do just for kind of uh, an example, I'm going to get rid of this and return the um, max ID. Then I'm going to go and return the sales order ID and then I'm going to change each of these to be SOH. And this should work. And there's the information there's our customers there's the sales order ids which ma which match the max id because that's how, that's what our join is but just just to show you max id sales order id and um, they match um, and we're only returning the latest uh, order information because of this returning the subsets that we want so getting the each of the customers and the latest ID in that case will limit the outer select um, because of our little subset, our, our nested select. Then from here we can add whatever tables we want. Um, um, let's think, no, no, it's, sorry, it's sales.customer. So we can add um, Customer ID equals new dot customer ID. So we've got another table just joined on there, and then we can add, we can say, well, let's bring, I don't know, the store ID or, the, or whatever the account number. Um, so once we've got this working, we can start adding more tables. So you just need to remember, particularly in this case, um, our from statement, select these details from the first table in our from. Um, condition area here is the result of this. Our first table is NS, then the rest of them are joined to that initial um, nested select, which is treated like a table. I'm hoping I've explained that okay. That's the end of this tutorial. Any questions or queries, please uh, drop me a message and I will, I will um, try and respond. Um, any feedbacks appreciated. Thanks a lot for your time. See you next time.